Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to place orders and modify them directly from a chart on CQG QTrader. Now, there's one of two ways of doing this. You can either open it up through a chart, which you'll just simply click on chart in the top left. This will bring open a chart, and from here, you can pretty much just right click and then choose either SnapTrader, SnapTrader 2.0, or SnapTrader 2.0 vertical. Your next method is to go to trade up here and then click on snap trader, either of which will display your snap trader up here in the very top left. The snap trader pretty much allows you to place orders directly off of the chart using these order entry buttons. And it also gives you the ability to modify orders on your chart by pretty much clicking on an order and dragging it. Now, by default, this is not enabled, so I'll show you how to do that in just a second. First up, let's go through the different order entry types on your chart. So here is the snap trader. Now, if you right click, you'll see there's three different variants of it. Like I mentioned before, here is snap trader one. This pretty much just give us basic um, buy orders. So on the left hand side, you have a market order. You have a buy at the offer, which is a limit because of we're hovering over the current price. And then there's a buy bid. On the other side, you have the opposite. So a sell market, sell offer, sell bid. These up and down arrows are used to adjust your price. So take a look at the current market price, 1462.3. If we click this up or down arrow, as you can see, an additional horizontal line will run across our chart. This is pretty much showing what price level we're at um, with this snap trader here. So as you go up, on these up arrows your price will go up that's where your order will be placed if you go down the opposite will happen obviously we'll go below the market now and our order types will adjust accordingly so this is pretty much all dependent on where this line is on your chart so again below the market we're going to get some sell stops um, and buy limits on the opposite side if you're above the market we'll get a buy stop here in a sell limit and then these two buttons should remain the same on the left hand side. If you want to snap back to the market price, just click on center in the middle. Next up, let's go to SnapTrader 2.0. Pretty much the same thing here, but this time we have the ability to actually drag it around using this dotted section at the top, as you can see. If you want, you can minimize it by clicking on the square in the top left. Again, you can adjust your price by left clicking these up or down arrows and again it'll display a horizontal line and that'll show you pretty much what price level you're about to place the order at so again depending on where in the market you are it'll adjust your order buttons accordingly left hand side is typically for buys um, you do have your order type and order duration displayed here and then on the right is of course your sell side now the major difference here is these order quantity buttons down at the bottom. And this is used for those advanced order types such as trailing orders, trailing limits, trailing stops. You do have stops or stop limits here. Here you can actually adjust your order duration such as day, good to cancel, fill and kill, fill or kill. Or you can choose a bracket order within this section as well. Now we're not going to dive into that. We'll get into those in another video. But just want to just show you that you do have the capability of doing all these through a chart. Now, the next option is the vertical variant of this. Nothing really changes here. It's just oriented in a different location or, a, you know, a different layout. Next up, you do have the traditional place and order screen. This is pretty much just your dome that we've seen in other videos. Good thing about this is you can monitor your orders and positions down at the bottom and manipulate them there. We've already covered order entry in another video, so feel free to determine if this works out for you. But this does pop up in its own external window, so you're pretty much limited into where you can move it, and it may cover up your chart a bit. So you're more than welcome to use this, but this is just something you need to consider. Now, we've already had an order sitting here. When you do have an order on the chart, you can hover over it. You'll see there's a little one designating the quantity. And if you hover over its line, it'll give you some information about that trade. Now you'll actually see in the very top right hand corner that you can open order display study preferences. This will allow you to, as you can see, drag to modify. So there's quite a few different order defaults that you can set 
If you want, you can adjust things such as your cursor value to show your orders in lots or both. You can have order filters as well, account filters, you can show fills, things of that nature. What we're concerned about is the drag to modify section. This will now allow us to cl click, drag and hold our order to modify it among the price axis. So as you can see there, it becomes active. Then we can left click, hold and drag to adjust our order accordingly. And depending on where we drop it off. And we do get an error message here or not an error message just saying because it's below the market and it's, you know, it's a buy order and it's a limit. It's just automatically going to fill. We're OK with that in this situation. But as you can see, let's get that change it up a little bit here, drag it up. And boom, I modified my orders. It's that easy. You actually don't even have to um, drag and hold. As you can see, once I activate that and we it becomes a blue line, then you can just move your cursor up and down and then just left click where you want to drop it off. If you do left click, hold and drag, you'll kind of notice how I accidentally did. It'll move your chart up and down as well. You don't necessarily want that. So. But other than that, if you want up in the top left hand corner here, you can manipulate your order quantity and cancel your orders through here. See if I want, I can just adjust the order quantity, type something in and we can modify our order that way. As you can see, it's now displaying that we have a quantity of five. Other than that, I believe you can change your price in here. If you type something different, it'll modify your order that way. Let's do once four, six, five. Yep. As you can see, it modified my order price there. And then here we can cancel all your orders. Um, you can get some information about it by hovering over. You can see everything you've done. As you can see, I modified it like five times already, or we can completely cancel out our order with that little X button. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's a way to, you know, tie an order type to your right click of your mouse. And then when you right click at a specific price level, the order will place the limit or something of that nature. I don't believe that's possible on this platform. If it is, please post it in the comment section below. That's something new to me. So that would be a learning experience for me as well. And that would be very helpful. But um, as far as I know, this is the extent of chart trading on this platform. It is pretty good. But again, you just don't have the option to place an order type with the left click of your mouse, for example. But other than that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you do have any comments, questions or concern, please head over to our community forum, post any questions over there or concerns. You also have the comment section down below that you can utilize. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Q Trader content. And as always, thanks for watching.